And we're back here live in Simonstown at Local Link, Loud, Mead and Fingal, Shane Castles, Thomas Byrne, you're very welcome. How are you, Thomas? Uh, very well, Marion, thanks very much. It's only been a year since we uh, last sat here as well. Yeah. <laughs> a lot has happened for you in the past year. Yeah, well, look, it's great to see the old familiar faces uh, here today, like that I know really well who come every year, as I do come every year to this. But I think Local Link, I think, Marion, is, is not just about bringing uh, the old, the sick and the disabled, and that's a really important part of their mission because a lot of those people would be housebound. I know a woman in there lost her husband many years ago and doesn't drive, yeah. and really Local Link is her lifeline like to, to, to go to Navin or Drogheda or wherever she goes. Um, so that's a fantastic thing. It's, it's wise never to forget that, I know, I know we don't. But I think Local Link has also brought in other services as well. Uh, like we were lobbying for years for Stamullen for a bus route because Stamullen, I worked it out, was the largest town in Ireland without a bus service. Uh, to anywhere and eventually they, got a, they did get a commuter bus service into Dublin at certain times through the NTA but Local Link then came in and did a regular service into Balbriggan which is like the nearest town and there's a train station link and schools, cinemas, pubs, whatever uh, and that has expanded a little bit into the evening times as well so that's especially used by young people as well because they might have friends in school in Balbriggan uh, there might be, I mean, a, a, a chap who used to do a bit of work in my office used to meet his girlfriend and this was his way in then to meet the girlfriend uh, so I think, you know, it, it really has uh, opened up Stamullen uh, to the outside world in terms of public transport because and, and as a town it's kind of growing uh, a lot of teenagers, young adults there who don't drive and they're not dependent now on their parents or their neighbours to bring them in. So it's, it's, it's Miriam and Local Link that have provided that and worked for it. I've seen it as well. There's now a service between Balbriggan and Ashburn as well. Now, not, not the two most obvious places to link, but there's a lot of rural villages there in North Dublin that use Ashburn as their town centre or whatever, uh, where they do their shopping. And that, that is a great help. And it, it, it does work for people and people are using it. I was in another place I was never in before the other day, Knox Sedan, which is this estate outside Swords, which is actually in the middle of nowhere. And I think Miriam, I don't know why it was built where it is, it's a lovely place to live, um, but there's no bus. And Miriam did come in then with, with Local Link and there's a bus service there for them. And again, it's about, there's about 200 houses, young people who need to go into Swords to meet their friends, do whatever they have to do. And that's, that's where Local Link comes in as well. So I'm very supportive of it. Fantastic, because there's a lot of families out there where you have mommy and daddy or whatever who's looking after the children. And the children are isolated. There's a lot of teenagers and young people who simply don't have transport, but they need to create a community. How important is Local Link for them? Well, it's really important because I say they, in Stamullen in particular, some of them, or many of them, go to school in Balbriggan. And, you know, that's where their friends are. That's where they're going to meet people. That's where they're going to socialise. They want to go to the cinema, whatever. There's a shopping centre there. It's really, really important. So, I mean, I have another case there where a constituent. Her, you know, Stamullen Balbriggan is only a few miles away, but the mother was minding the children of my constituents, so my, her, gran her grandkids. Mother lived in Balbriggan, constituents in Stamullen couldn't drive. This bus has just been, just changed her lives, you know, and the local link has done that for them. It's just much, the granny wants to be there, and now she can with the bus, it's so easy for her. Yeah. Fantastic. And Shane Castles, also, you know, there's so much effort being made by the government and also politically and on, on, on gra grassroots levels to help with the mental health of young people and teenagers and also people in general. Do you see this as a way forward also to help with that and, and it's also aiding with a lot of what I consider as isolation in this country? 100% uh, and you can see that in there today because today as it's being coined is a celebration day uh, for this service so you have 600 people in there we've literally just left the room and bingo was starting and God if me or Thomas Byrne actually interrupted in the bingo we'll be in big trouble so <laughs> you know our heads were down but it, it just shows you it's a celebration day uh, there's people forging new friendships uh, Miriam and the team actually gave a presentation to us in the Dáil uh, earlier in the year sending out the, the funding requirements uh, for investment in the fleet which is a huge thing as well there's over 30 uh, buses on the road but they need the NTA now to actually fund the upgrade of the fleet as well but it ties into other services such as Men's Shed um, which is you know a huge thing uh, for um, isolation among uh, elderly men as well right across the county they were into us in the doll as well and I heard Wayne talking about that there's a great interaction between Local Link and Men's Shed as well so it just goes to show all of these agencies that are coming together are helping to break down those kind of things it gets talked about a lot of the doll here's the practical actual side of it of people actually trying to do something and make a positive difference and you know flexibus and local links certainly do do that on a ground on a grassroots level as i said earlier on this is all about the well-being of our community of our people of our country um are there other things that you're working towards to help improve the mental well-being of our people as well now obviously local link is important because you do have a strong role 
Mm -hmm. And certainly, I mean, because a lot of the uh, debate focuses around uh, mental health for younger people, which is a huge issue today at the moment. Uh, and Thomas would be very prevalent in that as well in terms of uh, looking for the reinstatement of career guidance teachers, which is a huge role in actually assisting young people on the ground as well. But it's something that's just as prevalent among elderly people as well. And rural isolation uh, can lead to uh, a detrimental impact on uh, people's mental health at the, at the latter stage of their lives as well. On the broader issue as well, obviously today is a celebration of local link and, and rural transport and everything tied into that. But here in Navin, where we're based today for this celebration, one of the biggest issues uh, is, is transport. Uh, we've just published uh, in Meath County Council uh, a survey on commuters and the impact on, on people's lives. And that has an impact as well. So the actual thing we're discussing today, having good public transport has an impact on people's lives if it's not there. Certainly the big void in this town is the lack of a railway line. Uh, it's a huge issue and it's going to continue to be uh, such a, a big issue for a town of nearly 40,000 people uh, that we're the only town on the eastern seaboard not to have that rail connectivity uh, into our capital city is an abomination and something that myself and indeed Thomas because we would cross into his constituents in Dunshockland as well are working strongly to try and make sure that that becomes a reality. We saw from that survey there's some 33,000 people leaving the county every morning just to go into the city centre. That's not even talking about those that go into Louth or Cavan for employment, but 33,000 every single morning going into the city centre. Uh, and we can see it once again, the congestion is backing up uh, around Blanderstown. It's taking uh, people longer to get to their place of work and they're leaving earlier in the morning. Uh, the results of that survey showed that um, most people are on the road between seven and eight, but a lot of people are on the road before six. Uh, and the reports that were done to actually put a nail in the coffin of the Navan Railway Line uh, used an 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. as the peak morning uh, rush hour traffic. Myself and Thomas are both know for going into the Dáil, people are on the road o'clock in the morning and that report needs to be changed because if it's not this town is going to uh, you know the people living in this town are not going to have the quality of life and that ties into impact on families and mental health as well 100 percent. and i remember years ago there was an attempt to actually re reinstate a train station in Navin because the tracks are actually there aren't they no we actually uh, were successful in getting the first phase uh, from the docklands out to dunboyne and thomas's constituency where there is the M3 car park uh, for a thousand cars to, to bring people into the city centre. The next phase is to get it from Dunboyne uh, into Navan. The plans are all done. We're at rail order stage, uh, but we need uh, the government to commit and actually sign that cheque for some half a billion to make sure that that happens. Um, you know, this morning's not a morning to get political about it, but there's no political will there uh, from uh, Minister Shane Ross to make that happen. That's deeply uh, infuriating. It is for myself as a Navan man, uh, and we have 40,000 people living here in this town. Town. It's not just about public transport, it's about creating an economic corridor on which businesses can grow along that as well that would help all of me, not just Navan but in Shockland, uh, Kilmess and Dunboyne uh, and it's a key component for making, life pe making the, the lives of people better here in County Mead as well. Do you think also that it might also encourage an influx of new people to the area as well and that it could impact on um, the business working world that we have in Navan too? Yeah, I, mean, I suppose we're getting the influx of population anyway. The population growth is, is happening unabated anyway. We see the new houses being built in this part of town, in, in Dunshockland, in, in Kilmess, and we see the population explosion happening anyway. It's making sure that we have the infrastructure uh, to support that across a range of things, such as uh, the railing for transport, such as new schools, uh, we see this week where secondary school places were, were offered right across the country and already I know our office, uh, our constituency office, were flooded with people whose um, you know, young teenage uh, boy or girl did not get an offer of a place into secondary school or their child. It's a huge issue. Yeah. There's a lot of big issues uh, on both of our desks at the moment and uh, you know, we continue to fight them. Okay. Well, you're with the community today, which is really important because I think that's important that you have a link to your roots as well because it certainly is your roots for both of you guys as well. Thomas, if you have any more words to say about uh, Local Link and the community for people who are listening in live today? Just uh, anyone who doesn't know about it should get in touch with, uh, with Local Link where it might be of use. I mean, I have a case there where I have two constituents who need to travel 26 kilometres uh, for medical appointments and they've been paying taxis which cost €50 Euro a go. Local Link are hopefully going to do that at a much cheaper rate. There is a cost involved but that is where they come in 
uh, and that is really, really helping in the fight against rural isolation and keeping uh, these constituents of mine well. So I'm, I'm, that's one example where in the last couple of weeks that we've got a practical success uh, from the work that Local Link do. So Local Link have good relations with all the politicians, they've been contacted through us, but they have an office in Navin and they're very, very easy to deal with and they're, they, they're good people uh, to front any organisation. So they tend, they, they, the clients, the, the bus users tend to know Miriam and all the staff as well, which is a really good sign. Brilliant. Well, great stuff. Thank you so much for taking time today, Thomas Byrne. And uh, of course, Shane Castles, I'm sure you're going to be doing a lot more in the future to help with everything in general. And thank you for making time for us today.